actually kind of rare. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some upper 70s to mid 80s, depending on where you are in the panhandles. Now, temperatures right now, 93 in Amarillo, but how about 88? Right up here in Dowhart, summer celebration tour in full swing. 90 in Elkhart, 101 in Childress. And uh, you know what? Uh, we're looking at those hot temperatures. Going to hang around, especially in the southeast panhandle, a little while longer. And, uh, well, here we go. Winds are light. It's about 5 to 15. A little gusty around the storms. Humidity anywhere from about 25 to about 43 percent. 69 degrees tomorrow morning. Next seven days, guys. I tell you what, this is looking good. We've got uh, 91 tomorrow. Let's bring it to 89 on Sunday, 87 on Monday. Look at this. I'll show you on my iPad right here. <laughs> it says 80 degrees Tuesday and Wednesday with a good chance of rain. That is hard to beat this time of year. Speaking of rain, I think we feel a little rain-cooled air coming in right now. And we certainly need it. It was very steamy to start out. Uh, so come on out right now because the weather is perfect at the moment. It feels great. Well, coming up, we'll show you how some new technology here in Dalhart is helping residents. And we'll tell you about a literal shout-out for veterans in the area. When the News at 6 continues, live from Dalhart on the Summer Celebration Tour. We are back here in Dalhart, the final day of our summer celebration tour. And as the father of a disabled veteran, and I will take any opportunity I can to, uh, to push a veteran's cause, and you guys have a great one here in Dalhart. Um, I'm here uh, with a, a couple of veterans who started the Dalham Hartley Veterans Memorial way back in 2004. It's been going strong, and right now you guys have some new plans for it. Isn't that right? Yes, Walt, uh, right now we've, we've got a lot of veterans that have come out of the services recently and in the last several years. Back when we built these monuments, uh, we had mainly uh, Vietn uh, the Vietnam War and, and before. And uh, most of the guys that we want to try to round up now and put their names on those monuments out there at our park uh, have uh, since been discharged. A lot of them are uh, wounded veterans. A lot of them are very active in, in several of the Gulf Wars, including uh, Afghanistan uh, and uh, Iraq. Kuwait, Iraq. That's right. Now, uh, a lot of times, you know, when we do these types of interviews, uh, people are looking for funds. You guys, this is completely different. You're looking for veterans. Now, who qualifies for this? Right now, uh, our qualifications, and they haven't changed. They had to have been in uh, 
in the service at least a year, and uh, they had to come in from either Dallum or Hartley County. They had to be a resident of Dallum or Hartley County for at least a year or been inducted from either one of those counties. And after they got out, if they came back to Dallum Hartley County, then they're still eligible. So we have several requirements, and I didn't name them all, but basically we're looking for local veterans. Okay, and who do they need to call? They can call anyone. They can call Wells Crane, Dalhart Federal Savings and Loan. Uh, they can call XIT Museum. David Guest, uh, Paul yeah. Henderson, the XIT Museum. David and Paul, who are with us right now. So remember these faces, remember these names, and be sure and, and get the honor that you deserve. Gentlemen, thank you so much for your service to your country and for your service to these two counties with this memorial. If i got a moment, I want to recognize T.I. Welch. This was his brainchild back in the early 2000s, and uh, he's a uh, Grown a little older, I hope he's out there watching. T.I. Welch, we love you. Veteran and a former prisoner of war. All right, thank you both for being with us here. Madison. Well, a new MRI machine is enhancing the quality of life for Dalhart residents out here. Dalhart's Coon Memorial Hospital now has state-of-the-art MRI equipment. This new addition helps the hospital accommodate more patients, especially those who are claustrophobic, young, or diabetic. Technicians say before many residents had to travel to other hospitals for an MRI, but now this new technology can eliminate that travel cost and cut down on the waiting time. It's going to keep everybody here uh, surrounding smaller towns that we're closer. They can come here, have their MRI done a lot faster sometimes in the city. Uh, the MRI machines get a little backed up, so you can wait a couple, two, three, four days, sometimes a week to get imaging in. Um, we can do it within 24 hours. Thomas says this technology will give Coon Memorial the capabilities to perform many of the things major hospitals do when it comes to scanning patients. Well, you saw the story here on News Channel 10. Rico Aviation has recently unveiled a new helicopter service for the Dalhart area. It's housed here in Dalhart. The new Bell 407 helicopter air ambulance will expand critical care reach for residents in the Texas Panhandle, Southern Colorado, Oklahoma Panhandle, and Eastern New Mexico. The helicopter is based out of Dalhart and creates 15 new jobs for the area. And those are the guys who flew us into Dalhart today, and we enjoyed the ride. Yeah, definitely. Thanks again to them because that was awesome. Well, coming up, Walt's going to be doing something he's never done before. That's right. Uh, that uh, will be coming up. Stay